New at 10, just weeks away from the North Carolina primary, and things are turning pretty ugly as Republicans are fighting against each other. A new ad from a group tied to Senator Tom Tillis is taking big shots at freshman Congressman Madison Cawthorn. And Queen City News anchor Ryan Kruger joining us here in the studio with more. And Ryan, the ad is called Madison Cawthorn's Lies. Yeah, yeah, not really pulling any punches there, right? It accuses Cawthorn of lying about being accepted into the U.S. Naval Academy. It says his antics are embarrassing. And most unusual at all, it's not the Democrats footing the bill, it's Cawthorn's own party. Lying about conservatives, stolen valor. Madison Cawthorn lies for the limelight. Once seen as a rising star in Republican politics, freshman Congressman Madison Cawthorn finds himself the target of this sharply negative ad. The super PAC Results for NC is spending more than $300,000 to blanket the airwaves. The super PAC is tied to Republican Senator Tom Tillis, and the group is backing one of Cawthorn's opponents in the upcoming primary, State Senator Chuck Edwards. I think it's a fairly hard-hitting ad that goes after the congressman and certainly does not pull any punches when it says that basically Madison Cawthorn has been lying for a considerable amount of time. Catawba College political science professor Dr. Michael Bitzer says the inter-party fight is unusual, but not exactly surprising. Uh, this is fairly rare in terms of party politics, but Madison Cawthorn hasn't been shy about trying to uh, challenge the Republican establishment. Now Cawthorn's been caught lying about conservatives. The ad also hints at Cawthorn's recent controversy where he said his Republican colleagues in D.C. invited him to parties with sex and drugs. The super PAC is throwing a lot of support towards Cawthorn's opponent, Despite the inner party fighting, Bitzer believes come November, all eyes will be focused on the big prize. There can be some resentment, uh, particularly if your candidate lost. But I think once you hit November, there's enough time to kind of either heal the wounds or indeed basically forget about the issue. Oh, I did reach out to Cawthorn's office for comment about this ad, but I never heard back. Alicia? Ryan, thank you for that. Voter registration ends today for North Carolina's May 17th primary election, and it's going to be a big one. High turnout is expected over the hotly contested Republican Senate race, among other hot-button issues. Early voting starts next Thursday, and if you plan on voting, it's a good reminder to make sure that you are still registered to vote.